enter your passcode followed by the pound key or star zero to speak with an operator. Your passcode has been confirmed. Please wait while you are joined to the conference. Hello? Hey, Stuart? Yeah, hello. Stuart, yeah? Hey, it's Bruce. Ah, uh, Bruce, how you doing? All right. I'm not sure if we're the only two on right now or not. Bruce, don't say anything too bad. I'm here with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Hi. I'll keep it clean. Do you want to talk about cheese? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese in a can. Cheese, but what about the McDonald's at the Pentagon, eh? <laughs> oh, I've, I've told so many people, no one believes me. Really? Yeah. You mentioned that picture. The face with the McDonald's in the middle, it's just incredible. <laughs> in your world then, Bruce? Busy? Uh, yeah, just still uh, catching up from the time when I was away. So working on that stuff, and um, I just saw the information about the big ACPO cyber conference in Sheffield. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're going to be able to come? I think so, yeah. Good. So, I mean, we're, we're um, I think... Uh, we're sort of almost on mass going to be going up to it, so it should be quite a good uh, event. Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Uh, you've got John Grief speaking at it. He's a, he, I don't know if you've ever met him, but he's a lovely man. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of, one of uh, uh, a true sort of um, old-school detective when he's uh, mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> Is Matt presenting up there? Or? Yeah, I, don't, I think my level of knowledge is too high for a lot of them. Yeah, we'll just leave them in charge of the IT. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've never been to Sheffield. No, no that's too much. You've missed nothing. It's a cold. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid so. It's, it's not exactly a jewel in England's crown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there you go. Well, there's a big university up there, right? Sorry? Isn't there a big university up there? Yeah, yeah Sheffield Uni is quite yeah. big. There's a huge shopping centre as well, but I think that's about it. Is that it? Is that, it's a bull ring. Is that, is that the same thing as Sheffield's a bull ring? Or there's a big roundabout in the middle of it, which uh, sort of got an upstairs and a downstairs. It was quite exciting in the 1970s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a Flyers nightclub. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah that was good for a night out. Is it McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Dunkin' Donuts, though, because they're pure Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you think? You're not sure. It's right there somewhere, anyway. <laughs> They might have shot a movie there, but then again, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it wasn't there, it was here. <laughs> no, no, but it was there. Uh, <laughs> I've told so many people about that. Did you speak to um, Andy about that information? Oh, uh, no, not yet, I have not. Okay, no, that, uh, well, that's good, because it's only just dawned on me. I, I forgot to mention it to him. I went in to see him, but his phone was... He was in a phone call, so I didn't actually uh, forewarn him, but I'll do that straight after this. I reached back out to our Washington field office and told them that Andy was a good point of contact, and then um, they came back and said, oh, well, we kind of want to do a dual interview with him, so I need to get back with them and try to sort that out, because I know that's kind of not what you guys normally do. That's, that's, that's an interesting one, that. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, I th he's 18 years old, isn't he? He's 18, he says, yes. Okay, well, I mean, that, okay, it's a step in the right direction there, then. Um, but, um, 
maybe step one would if would be for us to do the first introduction. Okay. Uh, and then move on from there. So we'll, we'll discuss it after, Bruce. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello, this is uh, Tim Oster calling from uh, headquarters. Uh, sorry for joining late. Uh, we had a conference room that was double booked, so uh, Jerry and Chad are going to be joining momentarily. Um, oh, and uh, who's on the call right now? You've got your London contingent. Okay. Jordan, and Matt and uh, Bruce in that little office down the road. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Los Angeles is here too. L.A. Anyone else? Probably in the background. Yeah. All we have is uh, UK and LA. All right, this is going to be a short call. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, I'll uh, go ahead. Uh, if you want to take off, uh, just let us know where you guys stand. Um, well, we um, basically, as was, I think, on the last call, we've um, uh, we've still got Ryan Cleary, and Jake Davis. Let you deal with that if you want. Go ahead. I think somebody just hopped on. Hey, sorry, it's Chad Hunt from the FBI. Yeah, okay. Okay. As I say, the situation this was really, we've got Ryan Cleary and Jake Davis, Stuart Court on the 27th, um, following some discussion with uh, New York office. Uh, we're looking to try and build some time in uh, to allow some uh, operational matters to uh, fulfill on your side of the, uh, the water. Um, so we've, we've set back the further arrests of Kayla and T-Flow, uh, that being and um, until we know what's happening. We've got our prosecution council making an application um, in chambers, i.e. Uh, without the defence knowing uh, to seek a way to try and uh, factor some time in that won't look suspicious. Okay. How much time do you think is reasonable that they'll be able well, to? I've, I've gone and said uh, eight weeks. Okay. Um, if they come back and say they only give us six, then I think it still um, still helps you guys out. Yeah. But I've, I've said for eight weeks uh, in the first instance. We have got Ryan Cleary's indecent images, um, which have been found... Um, Partly by our guys and partly by the USAF uh, team who looked at its hard drive. So what we're going to propose is that they get dealt with first. Historically, they're the uh, the older offences, and then um, that would take six to eight weeks before we then rolled onto the second half of it. But it's down to the trial judge really how he wants to play. It. Okay. And, and th I just want to express our uh, gratitude for uh, being flexible on this. Uh, I know uh, we all, I know New York appreciates it and uh, FBI as a whole. Hey, we're here to help. <laughs> we appreciate we've that. Caught things, we've caught things up in the past. We know that. So it's, uh, you know, it, it's, um, it gives us more time to examine the chat logs in any event. So uh, it's, it's, it's not that much of a hardship. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, is there anything else? Um, just one thing, the, the lad um, uh, who was CSL sec uh, is his real name, known as Tawongs. Um, he, he was um, of interest to one of the guys at New York. Um, he got arrested just before Christmas for, um, I think, DDoSing his school, and then he, um, he did some stuff over the Christmas break on the uh, supposed Project Mayhem or whatever the hell that was, Operation Fuck You, where he hacked a, um, uh, a website, it was the Manchester Credit Union, which is actually based in Jamaica, and defaced their site. He's a, um, he's a 15 year old kid who's um, basically just doing this all for attention and a bit of an idiot. But what he has done, which is kind of curious, is, is written a statement through, it looks, his school, basically explaining how he came to become a hacker and what things he has done. So we're just researching that. One of the ones he has claimed credit for in this statement is a thing called Steam, which is a, a, some sort of gaming site mm -hmm. with 32,000 usernames and logins and credit card details, which he's suggesting... He's had off. I don't know if that's a job that any of you guys are dealing with, but if it is, um, we've got a statement someone to admitting to it. 
Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. We actually do have a, a pending investigation looking into that compromise. And what was his name? Yeah, it was a it was, it was, okay. Um It goes by the moniker to Wong's, T E H W O N G Z. Um, he is the face behind CSL Sec, Can't Stop Laughing Security, which is a sort of uh, lull sec wannabe group. There's only three people in it. Um, and he's, um, uh, oh, he's just a pain in the bum. He's currently a subject of uh, West Midlands uh, police who have been dealing with him. Uh, we have a copy of his hard drive here, which we're uh, just time to have a look at. But um, uh, again, another another juvenile, another wannabe type character. But if you're um, whoever has got your operation, if they want to fire me an email, I'll put them in touch with our intel cell who are trying to find who's got interest, and we can get you a copy of this statement, see if it makes sense. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, I know they would appreciate it. It's our Baltimore office that's uh, leading the charge on that one. Okay. So I will uh, make sure I'll put you two in contact. Did he indicate who he was uh, working with or any other Nicks that he associates with? Yeah, there's one called Grandma Wongs, uh, and there was one other which has gone out the top of my head off there. Um, now, I can't remember what the third one was. Uh, who are his little group of friends? Whether they're online friends or actually three-dimensional friends, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, he, uh, he does... He, he, he gives the two two sides of um, our A4 um, description of how he's got involved, what he's done. Uh, it looks like he's sort of almost cleaning the slate now that he's sort of uh, come to notice the police. I suspect uh, a smack from mum or dad is behind it all. Right. Uh, is he uh, looking at any charges uh, on your side? Um, it's up in the air at the moment. If he has done the STEAM job, then it might be one that we would look at taking on from uh, a PECU point of view. Um, but if it is um, just more of him bragging, um, we would probably leave it with the local police who actually at the moment don't have an awful lot of interest in him. Okay. But um, if, um, uh, I suppose we need to speak to the Baltimore office and see what the, um, uh, the story is behind the, uh, the attack and what damage was actually done really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for that. That's right. Uh, anything else? Um, no, I don't think so at the moment. I think um, nothing from you, Matt. Nothing. Yeah. No. <laughs> no we, well, I mean, we're still, we're still, um, we got a, a server to get from the um, uh, from the Germans. And um, oh, one thing I was going to ask. I don't know. Um, what your liaison's been with the Irish, but uh, we've been speaking with the Irish around palladium and porn source um, and uh, looking to share some intelligence with them uh, and some information on that. I don't know if they're in on this call. I don't. Is anyone on from uh, Ireland? No, uh, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to assist or take our job very much further, but. Um, uh, probably worth getting back in touch with them from your side because uh, I think they've got stuff that they could share. Okay. All right. Uh, and I suppose the, the final thing that I've got is we got the final forensic report from the guys at the USAF um, who had a look at Ryan Cleary's hard drive. Um, and I don't know whether it's been disseminated amongst you guys or not, but um, it's worth reading. It's, it stretches to 325 pages, not including their notes, um, and it's um, it's quite a thorough piece of work, needless to say. Um, we're quite impressed with it. So I don't know if you've, um, you've seen it or not, but you've got some fellows out there who've, who've done a cracking job around that. Okay. All around the Pentagon one. All right, I'll check that out. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, okay, uh, LA, do you have anything? Uh, not much other than uh, what we were sending to um, the Met through Bruce. If you haven't seen it yet, Bruce is going to be a uh, EC coming through your way. Just connecting okay. Sharpie with um, Kayla and possibly T Flow. Uh, he might have been using a moniker Cronus uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago. 
just some more logs that we would like the Mets to go through because they haven't had enough of that yet. <laughs> so are you saying that Cronus was T-Flow or Sharpie? Uh, T-Flow is what it looks like. Yeah, no, we've, we've seen Cronus before and we've, we've sort of made the assumption that it was T-Flow. Okay. Excellent. Um, so other than that, uh, I think that we're just waiting for uh, Cleary's ISB. That's that's about it. But it looks like we might have a little bit more time to wait on that. Yeah, uh, the this is the stuff on the MLAT that was dealt with by our extradition squad. Yeah, yeah. We're still trying to chase that up. I, I, I mean, I can only apologise. I don't know why that's not with you. Um, last I heard, it was going back before the magistrate to be signed off to come back to you. Um, which is what happens when we are asked to do inquiries on other people and it's not already in part of our uh, investigation. But I will trace that up for you. Yeah, no worries. I figured something just went through bar. We're just looking for the ISP. You know, his his house went to that IP address, or the IP address went to the house. That's it. So we'll, we'll wait for that. No worries. That's it for LA. Okay, did anyone join on late? All right, that was a quick call. Uh, we'll plan on uh, meeting uh, again on a regular day on Monday next week. And uh, thanks a lot for everyone for joining us. No problem. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good. Good.